Hoi. Yeah, yeah. How you doing, guys? Ah, you know. there you are. What's Finally. new? What's new? Hey, okay, well, we'll tell you. Because we're new to EPPG Forum. We think it's a great idea. So we thought we'd uh, add our little two cents to what's going on there. And I'd like to introduce, first of all, Meso Blasto. He's the chief engineer. And uh, every good, you know, um, workshop needs something to turn things into 3D. And some people have printers. We've got Mace. So we're talking about like conception to reality here. Conception okay. to reality. Well, yeah. Here is the. I was like, say that. Here is the conceptualist. Ah. Conceptualist. Conce yeah, there you go. Oh, That'll do. You know what I'm saying? Slippery, slippery. Slippery. So slippery it's like the slippery blasto system going on here. At the moment, yeah. yes. At the moment. And uh, turn the camera around on yourself, young drawer. Young this drawer. Is, this is drawer. He's a long time associate of Flight Club in many. How are you doing, guys? Pleasure to meet He's you. Also known as Jesus of Coulomb. <laughs> anyway. There is a stop there for a minute. All right. There we go. He had a look at something. There okay. Go. So, so uh, first of all, we're going to take you through Flight Club to show you what, where uh, our stuff and what we're doing. And then uh, we'll take you to show you our latest prototype. So come on this way. Let's go. Let's have a look. Let's have a go. It's actually, we cleaned it up. And... Uh, I had this great piece of uh, artificial grass, astroturf. So this is the uh, this is the floor, and and one thing about flight club, one thing about electrics that um, it's important to know is that your workshop needs to be clean. So you don't have to. It's not like smelly, dirty uh, oil stuff. No, it's all got to be really clean. So not greasy. Once Must a be. week, I actually vacuum the workshop. There you go. Electric, hey? Electrics. So come Electric. on in. This is, uh, you know, our, our tech corner here with our soldering station. We've got our uh, workbench with our new, looks like a propeller LED light. Watch out, they come. Fantastic. Let me just put a pitch on this light here. And here's a number of our prototype battery boxes, uh, batteries, yeah. different tools, and then we have... Um, you know, helmets, props, batteries, and our original carousel frame, which we have used recently for testing, but that has been superseded by our prototype, and we'll show wait, you wait, that wait, right wait, now, wait. Blasto. Come out, and I'll show you B-15. Mace, why do Following we call you, it, Blasto. Why do we call it B-15? Is it something to do with watts? or horsepower, or kilowatts, one of those magical terms. You are Mysterical. so right. Mystical kilowatts, terms. Kilowatts. There we are. It is a 15 kilowatt motor made by an Israeli company, and it powers this 1.2 meter prop. This prop used to be a bit bigger, and uh, one side got shorter than the other, and so we had to shorten up the other side. And uh, it works pretty well with this particular motor combination. And we have the controller inside, a 400 amp controller. We have this carbon fiber mounting box frame that uh, Blasto made up. This was prototyped. The new one's going to be um, fabricated out of one piece. And then we have down here a 31 amp hour battery. And uh, on the top, we have a cowling made out of an aluminum perforated sheet, which was really nice to work with. And on the sides we have various connectors. This is actually the uh, this is actually the throttle connector. This is the switch. And I'm going to just undo this now because one of the things about electrics is you have to be very careful when you have a throttle in the system because if somehow it gets stuck open, the prop is going to spin and it's going to do it's going to ruin your day. So. Uh, on this side, we have a data connection for the computer and data out for a flight instrument. And if you come around on this side, you can see a couple of things that um, this that we have. First of all, a split leg harness here. This was an APCO harness, and it's just fantastic. It's so comfortable. Uh, we've got uh, swing arms uh, with adjustments. So we've made it. This this is actually the most comfortable harness I've ever worn flying, absolutely. And uh, here's our flight instrument here. This is um, it's a LED screen, gives you all kinds of data, battery, uh, voltage, 
motor temperature, etc. I'll show you that later in the actual test. And then over here, we have our throttle, our, our digital thumb throttle. All right, so that's it for the mainframes, but we do have some innovations here. This is an Air Conception 1.4 meter frame, and if you look closely, something's different. Blasto, yeah, what we, is it? Well, we made a bit of a modification because it used to be this thing was originally designed for a petrol engine, not a electron, electric engine or electronics, okay? <laughs> So it had to have a system down here to hold the petrol tank and the cage was a, a little bit more uh, unergonomic. This continued down here and the, the frame continued down here. So when, it was, when you had it hitched up on your body and you were running along for takeoff, it banged in the back of your legs. So we decided to change it to this. We removed all the material here and put a kickstand that automatically flicks up as you take off so you didn't have this cage uh, intervening with your takeoff. And I've done about so, 10, I've done about, you got your thumb in there, right, finger. I've got, I've got about 10 flights on uh, this kickstand idea and it's great, works fine. 10 flights now? But See, yeah. I didn't know about that, Peter. Yeah. You so, uh, you know, the idea is good. The idea is good. Okay, yeah, well, we'll go with that. And the next the next version we have on our frame coming up, we're getting a frame made up. This will be 200 millimeters long, so it'll even be a little bit more stable. Yeah, yeah. just a prototype, a rough idea. Yeah. Bit of a ways uh, to go to make it slick. Yeah, it's B15, and, and uh, that's right. Thank you, uh, Blasto. So we're going to leave you now by saying... Uh, Hope we'll, we'll be back again. If you like it, uh, let us know. If you have some questions, let us know because we think this is a great forum. We really want to uh, advance this idea of electric aviation. And we'd like to leave you with the only rule of Flight Club, which is... You, you must fly. fly! You must fly! You must fly!